Oh, what is up everyone, my name is Exceptional, and in this video I'm going to tell you all you need to know about the new Pokemon Gardevoir. Trust me, this is a must watch. Gardevoir is insane and she can carry any game if you play her properly. We will be talking about her abilities, evolution, playstyle, build, combos, Pokemon counters and items. But before we continue, if you have found this video helpful, please leave a like on the video and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Pokemon Unite videos. Also, I stream a lot on Twitch, so come follow me and join me there as well. Let's start with her passive abilities. The first passive is Synchronize. Whenever the enemy Pokemon decreases your movement speed or inflicts a damage over time condition, she reflects the same status back to that Pokemon. And second, her boosted attack. Every third basic attack does splash damage and decreases the opponent's special defense for a short time. Gardevoir is a ranged special attacker with low mobility and no escape. Position yourself to be as safe as possible while also doing a lot of damage. Let's talk about our evolutions and playstyle. You start the game as Ralts and you can choose between Confusion and Teleport. Easy choice, go for Confusion to maximize your damage output. Clear your lane as fast as you can. Gardevoir is a top laner, but she can play bottom lane as well. At level 3 you get your Teleport and this is your only mobility move for now. Play safe until you're at level 6. Save teleport for whenever you need to escape or chase for an easy kill. At level 6 you evolve into Kerlia while also getting to choose another ability. Psyshock and Future Sight. Both of these are AoE attacks. Both of these are great options and do a lot of damage. Let's start with Psyshock. Select an area of Psyshock and do damage to anything inside it. It attacks 3 times in the designated area but you can still aim after every attack. You aim Psyshock by moving around so not with your right stick. Every time you hit an enemy Pokemon, the move's cooldown reduces, and it does a lot of damage. With Future Sight, you can choose a bit bigger area where a delayed explosion will spawn. Every Pokemon hit gets their movement speed reduced. I would go for Psyshock, Future Sight is a little easier to dodge, but if you can hit Future Sight and combo it with other abilities, it does a lot of damage. Now, be a little bit more aggressive and keep on damaging enemy Pokemon. You do a lot of damage. At level 8 you get your second move, Psychic or Moonblast. Psychic is a blast attack and hits people in the area and slows their movement speed for a short time. Moonblast is also a blast, but whenever it hits a Pokemon, it hits everything behind the first hit in a cone as well. Also, the first Pokemon that got hit gets stunned for a short time, while Gardevoir jumps back a bit. Go for Moonblast, the stun and small dodge you do are very very needed. Gardevoir has no escape, but the stun gives you a chance. At level 10 you evolve into Gardevoir, and now it is time to start destroying the enemy. Be aggressive, commit to a lot of team fights, and delete Pokemon. A little later in the video I will show you the combo with her Unite move as well. Let's go into her build. Go for Shell Bell for an increase in special attack and a decrease in move cooldown. Also, regen HP out of combat. After that go for Wise Glasses for even more special attack damage. And for the last item, go for special attack specs for more special attack for every goal scored. As you can see, it's all about special attacks. You are a walking nuke, a pure glass cannon. If they dive on you, you are dead. But if you can stay alive, you destroy everything. As for the battle item, go for eject button. Mobility is your weakness. This gives you a chance to escape. Let's talk about our unite move, Fairy Singularity. You warp space in the designated area, pulling all enemy Pokemon to the center of the Unite move. They cannot escape if they get caught. Whenever the warp space disappears, it does damage and shoves them away. Perfect to combine with other abilities or your teammates. Let's talk about some combos. God of Fire has some max damage combos. Don't forget her boosted attack. If you hit a Pokemon with it, their special defense decreases. So start every combo with the boosted attack. Moonblast and Psyshock are very easy to combine. It doesn't matter which is first because they work well together. Moonblast first for the stun and then the easy hits with Psyshock. But my favorite is hit Psyshock and whenever the enemy wants to escape the second or third Psyshock attack, stun them with Moonblast and escape. The best combo is the Moonblast into the Unite move. The Unite move is sometimes hard to hit so starting with a stun to make sure you hit it. Whenever you hit the Unite move, start Psyshock for max damage. So what is the best Pokemon synergy for Gardevoir? Slowbro and Snorlax are perfect, they are tanky and they can stun or hold the enemy. Gardevoir needs help in staying alive and some crowd control. 
both Slowbro and Snorlax do that very well. Gardevoir also has some counters. Pikachu and every speedster. Absol, Talonflame, Seraora and Gengar can just dive you and insta-kill you if you are too overextended and alone. Pikachu is annoying because of its stun, range and high damage. Just be careful with your positioning and who your enemy is. If you can stay alive and do damage you will do very very well. This was my ultimate Gardevoir guide, I hope you learned something new. If you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Unite videos and also come say hi on Twitch and I will see you in the next video.